better and better and better because we come, of course, we come closer after this time. We have the results we need to to feel better, to get more confident. And um, but of course, we know um, nothing is older than the result from last game. So we have to to move on, and yeah, that's what we want. But uh, the good thing is after these two matches last week. Um, Everybody want to play the next game. Nobody thinks, oh, on Sunday next game. So we are all, um, yeah, we feel good and um, want to play tomorrow, want to train. That's what we could see. We try to give them the time to recover what they need. It's only short training, of course, with less information today. They, we have a normal training to prepare for Crystal Palace, what's important. Because of course they play different to all other teams I saw until now, and so you have to to know about this, not more, but to know about this, and um, yeah, then we can start. How big a concern is the fact that you played Thursday night? You had a late flight back. Worried about the impact on, on your players physically and mentally? That's what I told to your colleagues in in um, Kazan. If you should have travelled by train or by car, it would be a big problem. But we slept in a plane. You can ask Matt. <laughs> yeah, he slept the whole journey. And uh, so we are, yeah, it was, uh, I'm 48 and it's not best age maybe, but I was, yeah, I was really, um, I, I, I slept well in the, in the plane and then and in the morning at home. So when we came here, yeah. It's, it's normal. It's a normal journey um, and a normal um, thing to do if you want to play in international tournaments. And um, that's what I said. It's the same when you come back on Wednesday or Thursday morning and have to play on Saturday. There's no difference for me. And um, that's first thing of all. Before you are really tired, you think you are tired. And if you don't think you are tired, then you can still be awake, and that's um, pretty easy. So and that's what I said when I, I spoke about um, that we want to play the next game because we, we feel good in this moment and we, we feel more confident. We, we had results and we want to have results in the future, and that's why uh, the best chance to, to get this, or the only chance to get these results, is to play against other teams. And the um, next match is tomorrow, and so. We are here. When you've had three good results back to back, everybody starts to wonder, what are you doing with the players? Can you give us an insight into what, what your priority has been on the training ground with the players? We, we, we trained. <laughs> we, we, but what, what I said, we, um, we had our games, we spoke about the games, we had, we had meetings, we had... Um, Analyze meetings. Um, we had um, good training sessions. Um, not high intensity, of course, because it's not possible in this short. Um, this, um, only three days between the games, but um, so you have to to think more about what what do you say, um, and what do you have to train. And so we, what I said in the beginning, we have to turn the small screws and that's what we are doing in this moment. But uh, the base was, of course, not so bad. Um, Brandon did a real good job here. Um, and so it's not uh, that we should show them how football works. There's a good base in this team um, because of Brandon's work. And so we can, we can um, start to develop and start to come together because football can be different. Every manager has different ideas and so on. That's what we have to, to do, of course, but um, that's what we did. And then we, yeah, we could get a, a little bit of stability. That's it's, um, very important for offensive play because um, you can feel free in offense when you know not each chance of the opponent is a goal. And um, yeah. I've, we feel good in this moment, but we, we know we know about our um, responsibility for for um, our performance um, in the next game. So, Crystal Palace is, <laughs> I think you know it better than me. It's difficult to play 
Uh, I've, I've never heard about. I played in a defense role with all guys are over uh, six foot five. <laughs> They're really tall. Huh? Um, so you have to you have to play special. And we know about their transition game. We know uh, what's their plan. We, we try to to be prepared in this short time between, but. Um, it's not so the big difference between the games. It is, it is different, but it's not the biggest because we have, we played against Chelsea. They were very deep organized after their one 0 We played against um, Ruin Kassan. Um, they were pretty deep organized um, in the defense. And yeah, if we have the ball, I think um, Crystal Palace will do something similar. So uh, we have to be prepared for this. That's maybe we can use our experience from the last games for this game. If it's possible, we should do this and then play football. Sorry. Is that one of the challenges that you have at the moment um, in terms of the homework on teams like Crystal Palace that you, you're coming up against for the very first time? Yeah, maybe, but sometimes it's, 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 uh, it's good to, to be new because um, somebody told me about the special history with Crystal Palace, but. Um, I feel nothing when I hear it. It's only football. It's, um, you can, in life, like in sport, you can lose big, but you have to react in the right way. And if we didn't react until now in the right way, then we should do it tomorrow. Um, strike back, whatever. If we can use this experience, um, then we should do it. Um, but nobody has to be afraid because of this opponent. There's no. It's not impossible to have results against Crystal Palace, um, so, um, but it's a challenge, of course. Uh, but we have our our uh, pre-match and post-match analysts they work pretty well. Um, so we are always we feel always good prepared for the opponent. We we have long meetings together. Okay, as I said, we cannot train so much, but the rest of the day we can work um, as long as we want. So we are uh, we know. Everything we, we have to know about Crystal Palace. So in this moment, I don't feel it's new for me because I have so many informations, Trump. and um, they they maybe they change one or two positions, um, but they, they had good results. Yeah? They played well, so maybe they play with the same formation, and then we know um, where their strength, yeah? and we have to to be aware of this. But yeah, it's football. And at the moment, we have a good chance to win, and it's what we start to believe now. And let's do tomorrow. And in terms of belief, I mean, when you arrived, you talked about the players having having more belief in themselves. Are you starting to see that now? I mean, to win at Chelsea, having been a goal behind, and then a tricky tie in Russia, you've won that without conceding it. Are you starting to see the the, the early shoots of, of that progress? Oh, you know the team longer than me. Or did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, um, yeah, but that's what I mean. It's it's. Um, we had this situation against um, Southampton uh, with the late, late equaliser, um, and it was easy to, to to see that in this moment everything changed. So it was easy to talk about, but reaction had to come from the players, and that's what they did. So I, I can. If, yeah, if you see problems, it's not always necessary to, to put your finger in and say, okay, that was a problem. But um, if it's a big thing, you have to, to talk about it, you have to, to give solutions, you have to, to talk about um, things you can do different. And um, that's what we did. But that they did it in the next game, that was it's the talent and the, and the, and the, and the, of, the, of the players. They, of course, they more often react in the right way than in a bad way. And so. Um, they did it in, in Chelsea, and that, that helped us really um, um, much. And um, for the next game, it was a different different challenge in, in Kazan. We played a very, in our opinion, a very good first half on a difficult pitch, and to to stay in the game and to to stay concentrated and not to get nervous. That's that's a real big challenge in football. If you are dominant, you cannot be always dominant. But if you are, then this is the biggest challenge, and that you not don't get bored in the game and think, oh, what shall I do? In the next year, we, we, we tried all, of course, not we, we never tried all, maybe a lot, but not all, and that's what we um, 
what we spoke about in the halftime. We showed them what we can do better and um, with some video uh, scenes. And um, yeah, they re react very good in this moment on our information. And um, that's, that feels good. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously quite um, happy about the, the midweek weekend splits. It's what you have to do when, when you're in Europe. But what, what was your record like with Dortmund the, immediately after Europe? Was it something you always found to be not so much of a problem, getting results? In the good years, not. In the not so good years, yes. But I, I don't believe in... in um, um, oh no, I missed the word. Huh? I don't believe that it, it's it, it's because of it's um, it's how you feel. So it's uh, of course it's it's better you don't play in midweek. It's, it's an advantage for Crystal Palace, but it's only a, an advantage if we are not prepared to fight. If we are not ready to fight, that's all. It's if, if we wait for an easy game against Crystal Palace, no chance, no chance. But if we are, uh, are waiting for a difficult game and um, try to think about uh, solutions for these difficulties and um, yeah yeah try to fight more in this game it's not it's not that we have better legs tomorrow but we we don't have to we don't need to have worse legs uh, because we yeah, we are fit we are healthy and um, young not all of us but the players and um, so we can do it sometimes i heard about it old stories from michael Zorg player of um, Dortmund Champions League winners and he told me that sometimes the first half after a midday game is a little bit difficult but then the second half it's like a longer warming up or something like this but it's only if you have this quality if the players think they need this this um, time and if they are cool or experienced enough to to start calm in a game and controlling the game then yeah then you can do it but we are not Champions League winners of the last year, so we are uh, we are a, we are big, we are challenger of the league, and um, so we don't have to think about this. We, we can make some changes. Yeah, we could. Um, we played without Martin. We have played without Lucas. We played without um, Phil and without Adam. So and we have some other players which, which played the, the the match before, and we have a few other players we we could bring if we want. But um, now I have to see the training. How is my feeling about the feeling of the players? Mm -hmm. And then we will make a starting lineup and then we start. Tomorrow represents a month since you <coughs> went to Liverpool, signed a contract to become the club's manager. Still unbeaten, given all the hugs after games, it seems like the players have really taken to you. And they've obviously taken on board your instructions as well considering that you're unbeaten. How have you analysed your first month at Liverpool? Any particular highlights? Or no. No time for analyse, no. Well, I don't want to analyse, but we, we feel we are in the middle of the, the race. Not, you know, there's no break for us. Um, even no, next week is a break for us from, because uh, all the players have to play. We have to do uh, some other things. Um, so I had some perfect moments, of course, um, but it's not time to. For me, it's not time to think about this. But it was a very intensive month, I can say. And tomorrow, when it's for four weeks, seven games in four weeks. Yeah. So it feels longer than four weeks, um, but uh, yeah, the players have no chance. I, I, I see after the game, um, they don't want to hug, but they have to. That's my my special thing. I don't know what happens between moments like this, but um, yeah, I, I like people who give all, yeah? and they gave all in these games. They were really, and um, yeah, they they did really well, I think, and so. And I cannot do so much during the game, and then I give a little I start recovery directly after the game for them. Maybe it helps. Yeah, final question. Can I just do a fitness check? Uh, Coutinho didn't play midweek. Is, is he okay? Yeah. How he told me he was okay at, <laughs> on um, Thursday too. Yeah, but I want to go. What I told, I don't want to go risk. And the same with Adam. He played a few minutes. He's of course fit. Um, yeah, we had some 
I don't know. I would say small problems after this game, normal after this intensity of the game, uh, and so we have to to wait the last um, yeah, minutes or hours until we are sure who can play tomorrow. But um, nothing serious. Uh, no, no, nothing serious in this moment. So my information and um, so now we will see who can train in two hours, and then we we start thinking about the starting lineup.